Hey guys, how's it going? It is S2G and welcome back to another episode of my Barcelona Korean World Series and in today's episode we have some really good games. First we have Valencia, then we have Villarreal, then we have the Catalan derby against Espanyol and then a game against Borussia Dortmund. So first off, let's get into this game against Valencia and as you can see the squads right now on your screen, we are playing MSN up top, Iniesta, Matic and Pogba in midfield, Alba, Matthew, PK, Alves in defence and Bravo as our goalkeeper. Now if you guys do not know yet, uh, Valencia are actually top of the league, so we need to beat them to go, you know, above them and be the league leaders. So it's going to be a good chance for us to do that. And as you can see, the league table right here, we're in second place, just below Valencia and just a point below them. But look at their goal difference. These guys have actually have 16, which is their goal difference, which is insane. But as you can see, we do have the first chance of this game at the ball. Is with Lionel Messi he crosses it in to Luis Suarez, whose header is saved by Diego Alves. A great save. From uh, for Luis, from Luis uh, Suarez's header from Diego Alves, that is. And as you can see, they did have the second chance of this game with Pablo Piatti with the shot, but uh, the keeper does save it. But then on the rebound, they get a chance, but they miss that too. So it's been an eventful first half, but now in the second half here, Neymar plays the ball into Luis Suarez, who just strikes it first time, but his shot is blocked by one of the defenders. But then in the 71st minute, we have a chance here from Lionel Messi whose finesse shot is saved by Diego Alves. It's been an insane match, but it's still nil-nil. And that's why it's time to bring on some uh, players from the bench and see what they can do. I'm bringing on Rakitic to play in CDM and that's probably the only substitution I'm going to make. But as you can see, we do have now a chance here. It's Nemanja Matic, now it's Pogba here. It's Pogba. It's still Pogba. He plays it to Leo Messi. Messi goes past one, but then gets fouled inside the box and that means we get a penalty. Messi has a chance to score and put us 1-0 above Valencia. Let's see what Messi can do. And Messi finesses it into the bottom left corner. Not exactly bottom left, but a great penalty from Lionel Messi. And that's his ninth goal in the Liga. Amazing stuff from him. And as you can see, they do have another chance in the 87th minute. Trying to get something out of this game. But Javi Fuego plays the ball. I think that, that actually just went into the stands. A really poor shot from him. And as you can see, now we have beaten Valencia. Now we are top of the league. And as you can see, the board are happy with their performance. That's all we, what we want. And also, we have a youth squad monthly report. Let's have a look at it. And as you can see, Christopher Sabotka's potential is between 76 and 94. That's pretty insane. But this guy, Francesco Miguel, has the potential of 84 to 94, which is absolutely insane. Oh my god. This guy is going to be one heck of a player if he continue this series for a long time. It all depends on you guys. And as you can see right here, we now have a game, game against Villarreal in the Spanish Cup. And for this game, I'm just rotating the, li literally the whole squad because my players aren't fit. Plus, you know, the Spanish Cup is a big competition, but it, is, it ain't as big as the Champions League or La Liga. So, But let's see if we can get a good result in this game with our second team. And obviously, they do have the first chance of this game as Vieto's shot is saved by Marc-Andre Ter Stegen. But honestly, guys... Our, our second team is actually as good as Villarreal itself, but as you can see here, Xavi takes a shot, but his shot goes wide, and I was saying like, our first team is pretty strong, so I'm sure we can get a good result in this game, but now the ball is with Xavi Hernandez, Xavi goes past one, it's still Xavi, Xavi cuts it back and plays it to Pedro, Pedro smashes it into the back of the net, what a shot from Pedro, what a goal from him. And this guy has been playing very rarely for me, but when he's played, he's played well. And there you can see Pedro with an amazing goal. But then in the 78th minute, we have a chance here to score as Pedro gets a one-on-one -on -one chance to score. But he hits it wide. That was rubbish stuff from him, from Pedro, obviously. But then in the 88th minute, Dybala playing a 1-2 with, I think that was Delafeu. It's Dybala to score. Can he score? But his shot is saved by the goalkeeper. A great chance for us to score. But then in the 90th minute, they had a chance and Denis Cheryshev did score and for those of you guys who don't know he's actually on loan from Real Madrid so well he scored against Barcelona what else can he want uh, really disappointing from us that we just gave away the away goal but well we need to just move on from that we still have the second leg to play that will be in the next episode apart from that we got a huge squ squad monthly report not actually huge squad I think it's scout report uh, apart from that, uh, none of these players are good from Germany, so I'll just keep these two on the shortlist and see if they turn out to be good. And apart from that, yeah, let's just get into our next game, which is the Catalan derby against Espanyol. And as you can see, I'm playing MSN up top, Iniesta, Matic, Pogba in midfield, Alba, Matthew, PK, Alves in defence, and Bravo as our goalkeeper. This is basically our first team, same team we used in the victory against Valencia, and let's see if we can get a victory in this game against Espanyol 
And let the game begin. As you can see, we do have the first chance of this game. If the ball is with Matic. Matic plays it to Luis Suarez. Luis Suarez plays it to Messi. And Messi trying to create a magical moment. But, well, it did happen. But then in the 25th minute here, Messi has a chance to score from a free kick. And Messi takes it. But the keeper makes an insane save to keep the scores. Nil nil. 27 minutes gone. It's still nil nil. But now in the 30th minute, we have a chance. It's Iniesta who takes the shot. But his shot hits the crossbar and just bounces back on the ground a great chance for us to score but unfortunately we didn't but then in the 42nd minute Suarez plays in the ball to Lionel Messi Lionel Messi is 2-1 goal it's Messi to score can he but his shot goes so wide I can't believe Messi just did that well 44 minutes gone it's still Barcelona 1 Barcelona nil. Espanyol nil. but then in the 58th minute here Suarez trying to get the first goal of this game and he does so successfully what a goal from Luis Suarez and that's his first goal in La Liga and what a time to score in the Catalan derby can't get any bigger than this look at that for a goal from Luis Suarez amazing stuff from him and as you can see that's his first goal in the Liga BBVA but then as you can see they do have a chance in the 67 minute it's Christian Stuani and Stuani does score we've conceded again and 67 minutes gone it's one all we conceded a late goal against Valencia no, not against Valencia, against Villarreal, but now we have conceded a goal against Espanyol that has cost us the game and we have drawn against them. And I'll show you guys the league table and all later, but now we have a game against Borussia Dortmund and for this game, again, Emerson are starting, but I've, you know, it's made a few changes in the midfield and all because this game is actually not that important. We've already secured first place and, well... It's, yeah, it's actually a meaningless game now, but then in the 18th minute, we did get a free kick. Luis Suarez decides to take it, and Luis Suarez places it in the back of the net. What a free kick from Luisito. Fantastic stuff from him. I decided to take this one with Luis Suarez just because I was bored with taking free kicks with Messi. Not exactly. Um, actually, yeah, I was like bored with taking free kicks with Messi. And yeah, so we just took it with Suarez, but then in the 28th minute here, uh, Aubameyang with the ball and Aubameyang shoots but our keeper makes a great save apart from getting bored with Messi the thing is like Suarez, Neymar and all, all have good free kick stats and up till now it's only been Messi scoring so I think it's fair enough to give give others a chance to score and I just decided to do that and give Suarez the chance to score and in the 59th minute here yeah, Lionel Messi has a chance to score a goal for himself but his finesse shot was really poor he hasn't been on his you know very best this in this episode he's been pretty average like he scored the winning goal against Valencia but that was a penalty so but as you can see guys in the 80th minute Shinji Kagawa former Manchester United man scores a goal against us in the 81st minute it's like the third time happening like we've conceded late on but then Borussia Dortmund had a chance to score another goal as Royce's free kick is deflected back but then Gundogan gets a shot and Kagawa with another shot but his shot hits the woodwork and comes back onto the ground and that's the end of this game we have drawn against Dortmund not that bad a result considering we have already qualified for the next round of the Champions League and now you will find out guys who we will be facing in the next round of the Champions League and it is Bayern Munich oh my god what a game it's gonna be and we faced them in my Manchester United career mode in the same stage and we did beat them and I hope to beat them this time but it's gonna be very difficult and have a look at the league table right now as you can see we are now in first place with 32 points level on I, t I don't know how are we ahead of Valencia oh yeah I think I just remembered that in the Spanish league it's on head-to-head -head, uh, results and yeah maybe yeah it's because of that and as you can see the top goal scorers Messi is on the, is the top scorer with nine goals and he's in on course to win the Pichichi and as you can see that's the end of this episode hope you guys have enjoyed this episode if you guys have don't forget to leave a like subscribe for more content and I will see you guys in my next video.